Tracy. Who is it going to be that pulls the foxhole shot? The Dharma up the inside. Tommy Searle up the inside. So too, the number two of Tom Vial of France on the 250. But Prado from the outside, swinging in. Foxhole shot, 149 in his career as he takes the first one here in uh, the Matsley Basin. Guys are there behind him in second. Hurling's third. Tomac and Hurlings got together there. They both came out inside the top five, which is amazing for the contact that they had. Working our way uphill. Fans absolutely on their feet. Hurlings tailing. Geiser, Tomac just behind him. Roxon in there as well on the yellow Suzuki. So kickstart Kenny in there in fifth place for Germany. Then we've got Siwa, Kyle Webster, the first of the MX2 riders for Australia. Fevre, Lucas Koonen, the second of the MX2 riders for Belgium. Then we've got Lopez. Then we've got a handful of MX2s. Mikola, Adamo, Harp and De Wolf in 14th place. Yeah, you see Roxon making quick moves. This is what he's known for, these early laps. He has so much sprint speed, so I expect to see him attack Hurling straight away. Be Goes out, for the quad there. Bial down in 20th position with a lot of work to do. Yeah, he got squeezed a bit on the inside. He had a great jump coming down the hill, and that's just the 250 versus the 450. He got out dragged to that first corner. So Eli Tomac just getting caught napping in the opening few corners, and his legs are off the bike there. And, and look at Roxon. He moves into third place. Two big scalps in a couple of corners. Roxon nap to third. Yeah, immediately he goes to his best pace. It is such a unique talent that he has. It wouldn't shock me to see him get to the front, which would, I think it would surprise Prado. The trouble for Kenny, can he maintain this pace for the next 30 minutes? That's the, always the question for Ken Roxon. Erling's trying to make a look down the inside, and uh, Kenny chasing the dirt. 